I know you're familiar with our next member's business. Growing up in the Watts area of Los Angeles prepared him for the struggles in the years ahead. His first job was as a youth counselor. He was making $1.47 an hour. His parents, neither having been given the opportunity to complete high school, taught him that opportunity abounds for those who are prepared. Let's hear from him about overcoming obstacles. A graduate of Stanford Law School, Clarence Otis Jr. began his professional career managing structured securities at Kidder Peabody and then at J.P. Morgan Securities. In 1995, he joined Darden Restaurants as vice president and treasurer, becoming CFO by 1999. He advanced rapidly in the company, becoming executive vice president of Darden and president of Smoky Bones Restaurants in 2002. In 2004, Otis was named CEO of Darden and a year later became the company's chairman and CEO. In this position, Clarence Otis heads the largest casual restaurant company, including Red Lobster, Olive Garden, Smoky Bones, Bahama Breeze, and Seasons 52, with sales exceeding $5 billion annually. We grew up in Los Angeles in the south central part of LA in the Watts community. My father, he was a custodian. He had two eight-hour jobs, and so he worked all the time. It was not a high-paying job, uh, so we grew up with fairly limited incomes. Watts is the kind of community where it was pretty easy to see uh, what some of the obstacles were. You're in a community where the services are limited, uh, where the housing substandard, you know that because you're comparing and contrasting it uh, just to what you see on television. The thing that, um, that it introduced was just the random violence. As long as I was in the neighborhood I grew up, I, I knew all those kids, so it was not uh, that big a deal, but couldn't travel to a different neighborhood where you didn't know the, uh, the gang members. In an environment like that where the odds are so high that uh, you won't succeed, a bad decision can have much more significant consequences for a kid. And so that's the challenge. We didn't have a lot of money. And so in terms of family entertainment, my parents really liked to drive around, just see the city, to go to uh, the really affluent neighborhoods and just look at the houses. And so it was important for them to show that side of things to us. We had a teacher. They would say, your world is a ghetto, but the world is not a ghetto, and you can break out of this, and that's what, you, that's what you're here to do. And we felt like we could go to college. I got a full scholarship. I majored in political science economics. Ultimately decided to go to Stanford in their economics PhD program and in law. I got a call from an executive recruiter asking if I might be interested in this uh, Darden restaurants. And so I came to, to Dart. It was a great opportunity. But I think that he really epitomizes kind of the whole American dream, growing up from meager beginnings to great success and also a spirit of giving. In this country, you're not a prisoner of the circumstances that you're born into. Even with very unfortunate circumstances, even with turbulence in your family life, uh, you can achieve your dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, Horatio Alger Association member Clarence Otis, Jr.